Okay, welcome back guys. So I just changed miss some little modification or resizing for the for the uh oh, needs to be pushed back a bit more. Uh let's push this back a bit more. Supposed to be baking now though. Let me just push this back some more. Yes, around here. I would need more resolution for this. So I need to increase the poly count for this. So I'll just subdivide this once more. Oh, this is not even in the center. So not symmetry for this. Okay, like so should be fine. So I made some adjustment for the hearts and then for the jaw of the character, I just push this down some more. So I think this would be a good time to bake. Let me do a quick save. Oh yes, the miniscus needs to I need to adjust the miniscus a bit more. See, I need to the miniscus. This. I need to adjust this. And get that in place. It's no longer in place. Let's go wireframe on this. I like to max the top part out. Got the max and then get this in place. Smooth. Turn this off. Let's get a good angle on there. Can't even see it. Oh. Just need to push it out. Let me just do this right. Hide the out, hide the heart for now. Let me hide everything else so I can do this properly.
we will just in get this down okay this I will need to push up a bit more this on this side I will need to bring forward out a bit more let's see, let me see if I can mirror this to the other side Okay, move it to the other side. Now we'll just make some adjustments to this. Get this like so. Okay, I think this should be more or less fine for what you need it for. All right, yeah, something like this should be fine. So I'll just do a quick save for this. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is to export all of this, export all, all of the low poly for this. So for the hair, this is the, for the hair, this is the low poly. Let me go one step higher. So I'm going to be using this 60k as my low poly for the head. So this will be my low poly, so I will just go to preferences. Exports, turn off group, turn on smooth normal. I'll export this out. With a new folder, Z exports, Z exports. Okay. I'll be no base mail one okay, that's fine. Save this. Here yeah, it's done exporting. Uh don't I'm not sure I'm exporting the eyes though. I'm not sure I'm exporting the eye. The eye are uh, just in the right Please, but let's just uh, put it out regardless. Let's put it out. Let's start with the meniscus. Uh, let me just show you what that meniscus is. And just look for a reference. Oh, yeah, you can see this tear dot around the eye. I see the tear dot around the eye, like some kind of tears around it. So that's what this meniscus is for, just to create 
just to create a similar illusion for it so that's why i have it in there so you guys can be sure of what i'm doing so if that's that it is just export that out okay exports z imports the export minuscule save that the eye let's export the eye z exports outer eyes save uh there's nothing else now okay just the heart now i'll create uvs for the i'll create uvs for the arts in in maya but first of all let's first let's export them out export them out so this is the hearts uh as exports okay select this yeah uh, let's put this at to the 2k res 2k second subdivision level at 2k polycounts so export this out Z exports at point. Okay, that's fine. And just do a quick save again for this file. Okay. Uh let's see. So uh this is albino okay i already have the file opened up this is like the base we use. this is the base i use for it this is my base so i'll select everything apart from the inner eyes and i'll group this i'll just name this to base so, so now hide that hide everything except the except the inner eye okay uh Let's import the exports. Let's import all of this in here. I'll drag and drop this in here. Okay. Yeah, this will work. Well, when I'm seeing now that the back, oh, just a mistake I made. The back of the heart is supposed to be flat. This side of the heart is supposed to be a bit flat. Uh, the, that boat has been sealed. I'm not going to leave this like so. I'm not going to run it the back completely. Probably run it like this. Let's just carry on then. Let's just carry on. So, I would. I already have, I already have UVs for this body already, but she is already for this head. Yeah, I already have UVs for that. But I'm not too sure about this UV though.
let's see. Uh, I don't even remember if I know I cut up, I cut out the nose. That's for certain. But no, let me just leave this way it is. Let me check the. Let me check the textile density for this. So let me click on get get the textile density four point nine. Get also four point seven. Get three point six. Uh, I don't know if I should recreate or make them have the same texture density all around. No, let me do a duplicate for this first. What is this? Okay. This is the outer eye. Outer eye. Delete any extra naming in here. Come on, why is it why is this angle? What is this? UV shell. Delete all of this. Okay. That should help us work faster. Delete all of this also. Click save. Also in here, I'll delete any UVs that are in here. Make sure any UVs in here delete, deleted. Also, delete UV. Delete UV also. Okay. Uh. Delete. Delete. Uh, duplicate. Duplicate this piece. Hide this. What is this? Well, I think that's for the inner part of the mouth. That's like inside of the mouth. I think this should be. I think this should be actually. This, is, this will actually be fine. I believe. Well, if I should select all of this and. Let's do a layout. Let's see what let's see what that gives us. No, nope, it's not properly optimized. So I think this is this is better. 
Yeah, I think I actually did do the better job on that, so that should be fine. So this already has a UV already, that's fine. The mini screws need to create a new UV for the mini screws. Um, probably not. Let's select this two. Orient. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now this is just so many pieces all over the place. Put this here. Can, we, can I sew this together? Edge mode. Yeah, stitch together. Stitch, stitch together. I'm stitching. Stitching all of this together, let's see. And I'll create a new and I create new UVs for it. No, it won't really matter anyways because I'm not going to, I'm not going to be giving this a default glass material, so it's not extremely important. We have super clean and super awesome UVs in there. So it's definitely taking it's taking quite long. I think it's better to <clears throat> I think it's better to just recreate a new a new one. So I close that with tax manager and then we started it. So let's just go back to UVs again. Let's bring all of this out again. Okay. After I already have this own weird UV shell. Okay, okay. Why is the other part of this looking weird? I don't get why the other part is always looking, is always looking messed up. The other one is always looking messed up. So it's just broken into several pieces. It's probably broke from ZBrush. We'll just delete that. Create new UVs for it. Camera base. Cuts. Unfold. Select this two, select everything in here, and then just do the layout. Where is this other piece? Great, I can't even find this other piece. That is just great. Camera base unfold. Select all of this UV shell layouts. Yeah, better now. That's much better. This is fine. The mini screws. Let's isolate these two.
okay this one is fine but this one is messed up put this here select all of this do camera base again probably put the cut on top of this up here cuts select this unfold double click where is that so it's going around. I don't. I don't want to go around it completely. Let me undo all of this before. Uh, undo the cut also. I want the cut around the air. Cuts. So this should be at the back around the year let's look for where that edge is let me black so you can actually see it properly so the edge around here I'll double click on that edge the cuts Or fold something like this. I'll do a quick save. So let this to UV share orients and layouts. That should be fine. That that work just fine. Okay. I'm not sure I'll be importing that that to ZBrush. Not sure I'll be doing that then. This out coin. Let's get some UVs out of this. Ish, this shouldn't be too much work. It just it should just be a repetitive pattern. So I'll click on uh uh camera base okay i'll just do one thing uv come to this edge. double click on this edge click on cuts okay go in here also double click cuts double click cuts Double click, cuts, double click, cuts, double click, cuts. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. Select all this UV shell on food layouts. So they should be looking something pretty much like so. Do a quick save.
think there's something else I need to do. Yeah, there's something else I need to do. I'll select all this edge. That edge. This edge also. I like to make them flat. Slay that edge. Slay this edge. Slay this edge. Should be last one. Slay that edge. Cuts. Unfold. Layouts. Let's see what we are. Yeah, yeah, but much better. Okay, this is much. This is much better now. We click save. Uh, so now let's go to the hats. Hopefully this shouldn't take so much time. Let me give the different material. This material is just messing with me. So bling material. Okay. All right. So there are no UVs yet. So let's start by going to face mode. Select all this face. Let's use camera base. Oh, sorry. Camera base. The quick save. So on face mode, double click on this face. Isolate this face. So this is the back. I'll add a cut around here. Cut. Then inside another cut around in the lower parts where it's not going to be too visible. I want to put my seam there. I would like to put my seam around here. Cut. UV shell. Select the shell. Out. Unfold. Yeah, something like that should be fine. I'll go to the next one. Oh, this is the ne ne this next one rather. Let's go to this. Double click. Double click. Cuts. Drag this out. Unfold. Orient. Do a quick save. Should be the next one. Isolate this. Also at the back, we we'll create our same line at the back. Go under this. Cut. UV shell. Select this shell, unfold, orient, I'll orient this this way like so, 
get this around here okay next let's do this first okay UV seam should be at the back cuts go under here cuts then click on cuts around here uh uv shell select this shell unfold orient so when this like so orient like so get this up go to the next one it's pretty much the same repetitive repetitive process So we click go underneath this at the back double click yes yeah, so around there should be fine quotes on fold orient get this up here next piece this one should probably be this this one so we only need one code so that code should be around here cuts select this to unfold select orient On your transform, rotate this 90 degrees. Go out of this. Select the entire art. Get some space here. Save this. Select all of this. And let's do a layout. Awesome. So let's check the checker pattern for this. Yeah, this will work just fine. Yeah, this will work just fine. All good. Do a quick save. So now we're done quitting the UV. So the next thing is just to import this into ZBrush back into ZBrush and then start baking out normal maps for this. Yes, I start baking out normal maps for this. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Okay, bye for now. Yeah, Dina, uh, Dina has already has his own UVs. Yeah, nothing else I need to do. He already has his own UVs. Okay.